Welcome to the newest installment of the Untitled Film Nerd Project. My name is Philip, and joining me as always is Teacher. Hello. And it's our hundredth episode. Yay! Pretend to Yay. be excited. Yay! 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 <laughs> it's better than the fiftieth. Go back to the fiftieth episode and listen to TJ's excitement <laughs> for the fiftieth. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> And to celebrate, we are doing The Metal Ceremony 2. What that means is that every 50th episode, we go through the entire catalog of movies we've discussed up till now, and we're picking our top and bottom three, and we rank them bronze, silver, and gold respectively, with a runner-up for each. I think it's going to be really interesting to see if anything from Metal Ceremony 1 has endured the test of time for both the good and the bad. But... Let's start off on a positive note and go with our favorites or the yay side of things. What was your runner up for the good side? For the good side, mm -hmm. it was Elizabeth Harvest. Right on. It was just so well written mm -hmm. and well shot, well filmed, well acted. And it's just one of those movies. Well, I mean, I think it goes to say with all these movies, but it's one of the ones that has stuck with me the longest. Right, right. And yeah, I, I just can't recommend it enough to, to people. Mm -hmm. And what was yours? Mine is also Elizabeth Harvest. Yay. Uh, Modern Hitchcock. Mm -hmm. What more can you say? It was just a pretty movie. It was a very fun movie to watch. It was interesting. It was unique. It was everything you'd want in modern horror with a Hitchcock twist. And also highly recommended to anyone that thinks they would like that sort of thing. All right. What was your bronze medal? Bronze was Mother. Okay. Uh, I had never quite seen a movie like Mother before. Mm hmm And... Mm -hmm. That's true, yeah. <laughs> and only not, not only just for the subject matter and the ambiguity of the subject matter, but also for how it was filmed. Mm-hmm. And much respect to both the director and Jennifer Lawrence mm -hmm. for how it was filmed. Right, yeah. Um, Again, it's another one that really stuck with me, but I'm so glad that I watched it. Oh, yeah. What was yours? Uh, mine was Marabone, mm -hmm. a.k.a. The Secret of Marabone. This was my number one movie from this year's 31 Days of Horror. I picked this as bronze because it just, of it was like the number one for October of this year, but also it just it was so moving. It was the only movie of that month to make me cry <laughs> like I was weeping mm -hmm. during the credits and you know a very nice simple ghost story well told well paced well acted and I absolutely loved it so that's why it's bronze awesome what is your silver medal hereditary ooh nice just holy shit yeah yeah like I said I went to the theater and saw this one mm -hmm. and just Wow. I went to theater twice mm. and saw this one. And, oh, wasn't he a first-time director? I think, I think it was his first feature. Yeah. And, I, I mean, just holy shit, way to knock it out of the ballpark. Yeah. Kudos to all the actors involved. Definitely one that has stuck with me. Mm-hmm. Def yeah, yeah, definitely. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, what was yours? Uh, my silver movie is also Hereditary. This was the best fucking horror movie I have seen in ages. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! And there's other stuff that's good. There's other stuff that's good. Like I'm gonna name drop. I'm not, I'm not gonna go into detail. Babysitter was great. Boys in the Trees was great. Mother was great. Uh, Killing of a Sacred Deer was great. But Hereditary just oh my god! I also saw it in the theater. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I was driving home, I'm just like furiously typing notes into my phone <laughs> to talk about because it was just, there was so much to uh, to to you know, like I guess go over and chew on with this one. Digest. Yeah, and it was something cool seen in the theater. Mm -hmm. um, I'll try to keep this as spoiler free as possible because I kind of want people to check out movies that we like. But there were certain scenes where the theater gasped. Yes. And it was cool as fuck. You know when you're like in a situation, you can just feel tension. Mm -hmm. It was like that in the theater. Like that last 10 minutes was super tense in the theater. And it was 
palpable. Yeah, and it's one of those like it's a, it was an awesome experience and mm-hmm. the best horror movie I've seen overall since. And this is a, um, a one of contention between us, but since it follows for me mm-hmm. or or mm-hmm. Babadook, either one of those hold uh, weight. So if you haven't seen it, go freaking watch it. It's awesome. All right, what is the creme de la creme of everything we've seen? What is the gold medal? You probably won't be surprised by this, but uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was also the number one for you in the Metal Ceremony one. Yes. As well. I mean, what can I say? I mean, this has been possibly one of the most entertaining movies to me mm-hmm. out of all the movies that I've seen. Mm-hmm. So entertaining. So fun to watch. Such a great job at comedy. Mm-hmm. And and filmmaking and cast just never never disappointed any every single time that i watched it and it's been a lot of times right that i've watched it (laughs) so so yeah that that's my number one still so far what's yours mine is also scott pilgrim versus the world Uh, I've not seen it many many times i've seen it one time after Mm -hmm. you spending many many years years trying to get me to watch this uh much like black christmas which we just had Mm -hmm. years trying to get me to watch that as well this is the standard bearer as Mm -hmm. far as just the excellence of things we've seen it's one of those things like it's going to take a fucking great movie something really special to Mm -hmm. knock scott pilgrim out of the top (laughs) slot for me i would go on record saying it's probably the perfect fucking movie yeah it's just from uh editing to effects sound design cinematography acting the script everything is on point michael Sarah is at his peak fucking adorable gorgeousness in this movie and so many one-liners so many iconic uh phrases that i didn't even get until i watched it and yeah uh it's gonna take something special as i said to top this one but it is also my number one for everything we've seen so far all right let's go to the bad side of town the uh, negative side of things also called boo what was your runner-up for the negative uh joey keen oh sorry wish upon that is an actress not a movie (laughs) (laughs) but i will accept that (laughs) i will accept joey king as an answer (laughs) awesome oh god this is such a bad movie (laughs) (laughs) i still accept joey king as your answer (laughs) <laughs> but yes, Wish Upon was abysmal, yes. Just from execution to acting to sound, soundtrack. Yeah. Oh, God, that soundtrack. Yeah. Oh, God, Joey Keane. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That that's, And that's just my runner-up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. What's yours? Uh, my runner-up is The Nun. Mm-hmm. This movie was balls. Uh, another one we disagree on, which is totally fair. Mm-hmm. This movie was fucking awful. For everything you just list- listed for Wish Upon, I thought the acting was ridiculous. Uh, Taysa Farmiga is just like, I'm going to look scared, perpetually scared all the time. Just war thin. I love her in American Horror Story. I think she fits. In this, I thought she was kind of exposed. It, mm-hmm. And it wasn't even her fault. I think it was the director, honestly. Um, so I've liked her in other stuff, like I said. And the script was lame. The, the plot twists and what they did was lame. I love the character of the nun. I think she's fucking awesome looking. And as I've said before, and I think I said it during the review, like you like to say, you had this handed to you on a silver fucking platter. Mm-hmm. And they ruined it. They just ruined it. I don't care about how the ambiance. Well, you, can, you, you can't do the same fucking thing for an hour and a half or two hours and tell me, oh, look at the ambiance. I didn't like the settings. I didn't like, I didn't like virtually anything about this. They made a contrived, convoluted plot out of something that could have been fucking badass. And give this to a French horror director and let me see what you can do because I was very, very unimpressed. And it's on the list because there's other things that may have been worse as far as actual stylistically, but this had the biggest budget, the biggest release. And it was, it was the biggest overall failure for me as far as being this big deal that crashed and burned. So that's why it is my mm-hmm. runner-up. All right, what is your bronze? Hell House LLC Part 2. Blah. Yeah, I mean, just... And that kind of says it all. Blah. <laughs> um, 
the story wasn't all that great. Uh-uh. Uh, where they took such an awesome story mm-hmm. really wasn't fucking great. Yes. Didn't really, like, there was maybe one character that I kind of liked. Mm-hmm. And even at that, it was just mainly due to one line. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it, it just took such an awesome concept and turned it into an amateurish joke. Yeah, agreed, agreed. So, meh. Yeah. What was yours? My bronze is the snowman. Mm-hmm. Uh, the biggest fucking lie of anything we've watched. Uh, you can you can you can watch our ranty <laughs> review of it where I just go off. Uh, I thought this was about a killer snowman, based on the fucking trailers. And I was very disappointed that it was a very boring, very bleak, very poorly written about a detective named Harry Hole. And it was awful. It was awful. And uh, ugh, I just, no, I'm not going to get into it. It was just off. Don't watch it. It's not a horror movie. <laughs> so fuck the snowman. Ugh. Yuck. Okay. What was your silver medal? Snowman. Ooh, okay. Uh, just given, and this kind of goes into what you were saying about the nun. Given budget mm-hmm, versus mm-hmm. actors mm-hmm. versus people involved in it versus the fact that it's based on a very successful series of novels. Mm-hmm. It was just abysmal. Yeah. Uh, from acting, from writing, especially the screenwriting. Yeah, this scene was just a travesty. It just felt like Michael Fassbender was just like kind of zombieing through it. Yeah, just dialed it in. Yeah, yeah. And and who knows? That might have been the director telling him to dial it in. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, and I still stick with what I said. Uh, hashtag Jessica Fletcher did it better. I will agree with that. So, so yeah. What was yours? My silver medal is Hell House LLC 2. But yeah, nothing more I could really say about it that you didn't say on top of all of that. So yeah, it was very blah and deserves its shitty silver medal. Mm -hmm. All right. What's the opposite of the creme de la creme for everything we've seen? What is your gold medal for the worst of the worst? I'm curious if it's the same for you as well. Mm Mm-hmm. Houses that October built part two. It is. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that says something. Yeah. I barely liked the first one. Mm-hmm. And the second one just really drove home that hatred of the entire series so far. Just way to take a bunch of assholes and make them into even worse assholes than what they previously were Mm -hmm. (laughs) and no satisfaction at the end Mm -mm. no Um, it was horrible i mean it was just nearly two hours of gaslighting yeah yeah Um, yeah good way to put it it, it, boo just boo (laughs) and let's hear your reasons uh i ranted hard on this and loudly. Uh, yes, uh, it is still to this day the only uh, movie discussion we've had that I yelled. I was yelling <laughs> during the review and the discussion of it. I was so pissed. This is the standard bearer of how to do a sequel incorrectly. I could find something in Hell House LLC 2. I could. I had Mac for a bit, so there you go. Mm-hmm. Houses had nothing, nothing going for it. I think the director is one note. I think he's completely mm-hmm. void of talent. I, I sound like a dick, but hey, he's proving me right. You took you took one thing that I didn't mind. I didn't mind the first one at all. And then you do the same thing again, but worse. And, and you're so shitty at your job, because he wrote and directed it. You're so shitty at your job that you ruined your first movie. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like not just that the second one is, is, is bad or worse. It, the plot completely fucked the first movie. Yep. Like, we're going to keep it spoiler-free as possible. But what happened at the end? Oh, my God. That was stupid and insulting. Mm -hmm. Fuck that movie. Fuck, fuck, fuck it. Just fucking hate it. It's fucking horrible. And it Mm -hmm. is the standard bearer of horrible shit. And so I I would say I challenge a movie to be worse, but I would hate to have to sit through something worse than Houses October Built 2. Part three, we're going to go to more haunted attractions. Oh, okay. It wasn't even about the plot. It was like, 
look what we can show off now because we have a fucking some GoPros and a fucking flying camera and a bigger budget and we're just gonna we're gonna go to zombie race and we're gonna go to this big giant hot dog eating contest it it was just them it was pretty much just them jacking themselves off or the director jacking himself off for two hours of all these places he could go to now in part one they served a plot purpose it was the entire movie was pointless so blah 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 don't watch it it's fucking shitty and i cannot believe that i'm, I'm trying I'm not trying to throw shade i like good bad flicks a lot I think Cecil does a great job and it's a great channel. And we've, uh, I've actually talked with him a couple times to use footage of his stuff and our stuff. He's a really cool dude. He liked this movie and I don't get it. <laughs> like, dude, mm -hmm. I, I don't get it. I teach their own. I'm not saying he's wrong. Well, yes, I am because he's wrong because this is a fucking shitty movie. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just blah, let's, let's blah. Out of many, many, many movies, this, yes. is, this still endures as the worst piece of crap. And, it obviously it's been over a year since i've seen it and i i still get heated about it i'm mm -hmm. i'm upset now because i'm like great now i'm in a bad mood thanks houses october built too <laughs> you dicks Ugh. all right blah well that wraps up metal ceremony 2 thank you for listening yay yay if you like the video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends or cool people who might dig the VizCast, and please subscribe to the channel, including hitting that notification bell to stay up to date on the newest content. Speaking of, our next episode will be on the movie Black Mirror Bandersnatch. I know very little about this, I just know what the style is, and I'm intrigued as fuck. Agreed. So, yeah, I want to see how they execute this idea. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's going to be next. So until then, once again, my name is Philip. And I'm TJ. And we'll return next time to talk about Bandersnatch. Goodbye. Bye.